Hello, Hypnosis Mike Phantom, I'm back. Some of you have probably never seen my previous Hypnosis Mike videos. And you're like, what do you mean you're back? Who are you? <laughs> Hi, my name is Morgan. Welcome to my channel. So in the past, I have made two videos ranking the Hypnosis Mike songs. Actually, uh, my very first like true video on this channel was me ranking the Hypnosis Mike songs. I forget that sometimes that was my first video. And then I later uh, ranked the newer songs, uh, the, the new songs at that time. And now we're going, we're going to make it a trilogy. I'm going to now rank the newest songs that have recently come out that I have not ranked yet. So this is our tier list this time. Um, you know, the letters in the middle, self-explanatory, um, but I've made the top tier. I've, I've labeled that one Black Journey because that is my favorite Hypnosis Mike song. So that is for songs that are the best of the best, the cream of the crop. We love them. And the bottom tier is New Star because <laughs> I feel like that is probably the most widely universally hated song in the fandom. There's gonna be that one person in the comments now that's like, um, actually it's my favorite song and you're wrong. I love it. <laughs> Good for you. But um, if you were to take a poll, I think New Star would probably come out on top as the most hated Hypnosis Mike song. Now personally, Own Stage is my least favorite Hypnosis Mike song, but New Star, New Star is right, right before Own Stage. I, I don't like that song. So that's the bottom tier. And yet, like I said, uh, everything in the middle is pretty self-explanatory. Now for some of the newer songs, I knew I'd be making this video eventually, so I did take some notes from when I first listened to them. Um, and I'll be sprinkling in my own thoughts after listening to them more time since then. But yeah, why don't we just go ahead and get started. So let's go back in time, uh, because I realized that in my last video, I never actually ranked Glory or Dust. Okay, this song is so good. It's, it's an 11 out of 10 for me. It's iconic. I, I love... <laughs> I'm kind of a sucker for Division All-Star songs, the, the way I'm going to be ranking some of them in this video, you might think otherwise, but I love Division All-Star songs, and this one is so good. They're just all so badass in this song. I love it. It, it. It's so cool. They all sound so cool. If you've watched my other Hypnosis Mike videos, you know I, I'm a fling posse stan. They are my group. I love them to death. So maybe I'm a bit biased here, but my favorite verse is Gentaro's verse. He's also my favorite character, but the whispery parts in his verse, they're so good. I, I'm obsessed with it. And Ramada's verse where he goes like dark Ramada in the middle of it. I, I love it. But the song just also has so many iconic parts to it. Jiro's verse is super cool. Um, when G uh, Juto just goes, yells trash panda. <laughs> And this technically isn't related to the song, but uh, more so the video. The video itself is amazing. Seeing them all move uh, move around and like rap the song themselves, I love it. <laughs> I'm obsessed, it's my favorite Division All-Stars video. Um, but what the point I was getting at, the part where Cesara opens his eyes, I love it. Okay. So Glory or Dust is just going straight to Black Journey. It's where it belongs. We're, we're hitting that top tier right off the bat. <laughs> Now, when the preview for this song released, I wasn't too thrilled by it because it sounded like an anime opening to me. But since then, I, I've become obsessed with Showdown. I think it is so good. It makes me very emotional. Um, and like I said, I love Fling Posse and just knowing that they came out on top in this song, I love it. Um, I, I did purchase the VR battle for this song and watching them all perform it is so fun. I really love Ramada's verse uh, against the Buster Bros, but also the Fling Posse versus Buster Bros, just like that whole verse, that whole part of those two going at each other. I, I, it's my favorite part of the song. It's so good. <laughs> they, they killed it. They, they killed it going back and forth with each other. Matoro, I'm sorry. You, you kind of didn't really have a chance there. But also, I'm not sorry because you won the first time, so I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> Showdown, uh, I think it's an A tier for me. I don't think it's quite Black Journey level. <laughs> eh, you know, like a few minutes ago, and I was like, I love Division All Star songs. So this video may make it seem like I don't. Hang out. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. I don't know, something about it just doesn't thrill me. When it comes on, I'm never like, oh yeah, hang out. But whenever it's playing, I'm like, okay, yeah, this is fun. Um, I think the other Division All-Star songs are better. So I think this is, I'm gonna put it in the C tier. It's just kind of middle of the road for me. I don't really care about it. I love United MCs. Oh my God. It sounds, it's like a rock song. And I love that. I, I'm a rock and heavy metal fan. <laughs> Those are two of the kinds of music that I really, really enjoy. So when United MCs just has some rock vibes to it, I am all here for it. It is so badass sounding. The guitar at the start is so cool. And I also love that for the verses, they they pair up the OG groups like Jakurai and Ramada are rapping together and Sasara and Samatoki. I, I love that. I'm probably biased, but I love Ramada's voice and the chorus. 
I, I just think he sounds so good singing the chorus. You know what else sounds good? That part uh, towards the end where they go like, now welcome to the new world. And it's like this very long note. <laughs> I was thinking this was gonna be A tier, but I don't know. I just really, I love this song. I'm putting it in Black Journey. All right, all right, all right, all right. Fling Posse's victory song. So cute, my boys. Yeah, the, the song is it's very cute. And I just feel happy listening to it because you know, Fling Posse, it was such a well-deserved win and they won and their friendship is so cute and adorable. And that makes me happy. That being said, it is probably my least favorite of the Fling Posse songs. I'm not saying I dislike the song. I'm just saying that I like every other Fling Posse song more than this one. Um, I'm gonna put it in A though, just cause it makes me happy <laughs> that they won. And it makes me, f I just, I just love them. <laughs> and here we go again, another division an all-star song that I'm like, eh. I don't know, Cross the Line, it doesn't do much for me. I, it gives me the same exact feelings as Hangout. Like everything I said about Hangout applies to Cross the Line for me. So it's going to go in the same tier. C tier. Go, 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 go my way. The first time I heard this song, I was like, eh. This is, I don't know, it's okay. I don't really care. I've changed my mind now. I think this song is really fun and cool. It has grown on me every time that I've listened to it. That chorus is kind of addicting and I love it. It slaps, okay? I feel like the Buster Bros are underrated. Um, not in the fandom, just by me. <laughs> like I never really think about them very much just because there's groups and characters that I love and they're just sort of ones that I'm more neutral towards. Like I like them, but I'm not like, oh, I love the Buster Bros. Like I am with Fling Posse or maybe Baddest Temple. So sometimes the Buster Bros will come on and I forget that their music is kind of great. <laughs> it kind of slaps, like with, except New Star. <laughs> But yet this song also slaps. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in the A tier. Oh my God, MTC. What, what is this? How did you make such a perfect song? This is up there with Deadpool's, easily for me anyway. The chorus is so good. Anytime we think about this song, the chorus is stuck in my head. It is so catchy. The vibes of this song, I, oh, oh, I love it. I, I don't even know what to say about the song because it's just so good that words can't describe it. And because it is Deadpool's level, and I would put Deadpool's in the Black Journey tier, this is also going in the Black Journey tier. My boys are so freaking cute, man. This song is so adorable and so fun and so cute, and it is so fling posse. It is so them. I really love the second verse where they sort of are interjecting each other a bunch throughout the whole thing, you know, Someone, someone like the main per, uh, member is rapping. And then you hear the other ones in the background saying stuff. It's so cute. They're so darn adorable. I'm putting it in the A tier. I love Flu Posse. Oh my God. Listen, I like Ma Tenro. I do. Some of their songs are bangers. I love Shinjuku style. I love Champagne Gold. I love a lot of their early stuff. Well, Tomoshimi is really good too, and that's newer. But this song, I feel like it's going to put me to sleep. I'm sorry if you like the song. I know some people really enjoy like slower songs. It's not me. Like I said earlier in this video, my favorite type of music is metal. So clearly, um, I'm not the demographic for slower songs. But yeah, this song is just, I, it's boring. I don't like it. I skip it. I'm sorry, Ma Tenro. I'm sorry to anyone that likes this song. I hope you're not offended that I'm putting it in the new star tier. I'm so sorry. <laughs> This song is very chill, but very fun at the same time. It is somehow both. I don't know how it could be chill and fun at the same time, but it is. Detecta de Hompo, I feel like, is constantly improving. Not that they were ever bad, but I said this in my first uh, ranking video that I just sort of had to be in a very specific mood to listen to them. But a lot of their uh, more recent stuff since the second DRB, I've, I've been enjoying. I love their whoa well oh in the chorus. It, it's constantly stuck in my head. I don't know that it's quite A tier. I think it's gonna be our first member of the B tier. <laughs> Badass Temple just never disappoints. Fling Posse and Badass Temple, I've always said, they just have all bangers. They, they don't know how to make a bad song. I hope I didn't jinx that and like, like they both just put out just shit songs. <laughs> <laughs> next time but this song is a it's badass H hence the name badass temple i guess yeah it's just very cool it's another one of those songs where it's like there's really no words to describe it it just belongs in an a tier okay now we're going to be moving on to the new songs from baddest temple and dutsi de hompo these are the ones where i was like taking notes on them because i knew i'd be making this video so i i wrote down some of my first thoughts so i might be referencing those notes a bit i love the rock <laughs> like okay <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm laughing because I said that. And I feel like out of context, that just made it seem like I love, you know, The Rock, like the celebrity, The Rock. <laughs> Not what I meant. I, I love that this song is, you know, rock. It, it sounds like a rock song. In my notes, I wrote down, um, reminds me of songs I used to listen to in middle school in a good way. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone else, but it makes sense to me. <laughs> I do actually like this more than Kuko's first song, which don't get me wrong, I like both. Um, I just think I like this one more. The chorus is constantly stuck in my head. It was stuck in my head this morning, probably because I was thinking about that I had to make this video and for whatever reason, that was the song that decided to stick into my brain this morning. I do really like it. Um, I don't think I, I like it quite as much as these ones up on the A tier though, so I'm gonna put it in the B tier. In my notes, I wrote in all capital letters, Kanato Sakamaki character songs. I also wrote the intro is so cool and very Diabolic Lovers. I'm obsessed. Now I do have a large Diabolic Lovers audience on this channel. If you don't know Diabolic Lovers, allow me to elaborate. I was very, very big into Diabolic Lovers character songs back in the day, kind of in the way I am with Hypnosis Mike songs now. Um, but one of my favorite Diabolic Lovers characters um, was Kanato. And he also had some of my favorite character songs. And this sounds like a Kanato character song in every way. Like Yuki Kaiji could do a cover of this and you could show it to me and I'd be like, yeah, that's, that's a Kanato character song. That wasn't originally sung by Jushi. I want to show examples of this. So I'm going to play um, bits of a few of his character songs right now, just so you can get what I'm saying. Also heads up, I'm probably gonna pitch them up or down or something just to avoid copyright from Rejet because <laughs> they're, they, they get angry when you post their songs. <laughs> Is that not the same kind of vibes as the song? That's all I could think of, but that's a good thing. I love Kanato's character songs. And the fact that this song reminds me of that, I love it. I love the vibe of it. I love the parts where his voice goes like distorted, um, is very creepy sounding. I also love during the verses when his voice goes deep. Uh, it like cuts. It's almost like he's sort of cutting himself off with his own voice, but deeper. It's so good. I love his original song, but this, it beats it for me. Maybe because it's playing on the nostalgia of Kanato Sakamaki character songs. Yeah, it's going in Black Journey for me, easily. This song is funky, but it doesn't really excite me though. It's kind of boring to me. Look, it's just not one and two in law. One and two in law slaps. It's so good. All I can think about when this song is playing is how I wish I was listening to one and two in law instead. I want to be nice to Hitoya and put it in the C tier, but I don't know, I'd I would much rather listen to Cross the Line and hang out, I think, so I'm gonna put it D. I'm sorry. Look, I know some of you were mad at me once upon a time because I said that I wasn't really fond of Hatoya. This has nothing to do with that. He's actually grown on me. I'm 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 okay with Hatoya now. I don't hate him. His song, I just kind of kept zoning out during it, you know? I love Sasara. He's one of my favorites. He's so cute in the intro. And when his, he really starts to rap, it just makes me smile. He's adorable. I love Sasara. The song is so fun. At first I was like, I don't know. I might, I kind of miss Tragic Transistor. This is fun, but I miss that. No, 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 I think this is better than Tragic Transistor. A or B, I don't know. Hey, hold on, let me go listen to it. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I just really, I needed to listen to the chorus one more time before I decided. Um, I'm putting in the A tier. <laughs> it, it's so fun, it makes me happy. Yeah, yeah. The bar was very, very low for Rosho. There was not much that he had to do for me to prefer this song over own stage, because like I said before, own stage is my least favorite hypnosis mic song. Look, I don't want wisdom. I don't want it. I don't need it. I'm not the only one that thinks that either. Okay, my friend has been getting in to like the music of hypnosis mic recently and I played own stage for her and she made me turn it off. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, okay? I apologize if you like it. I just, I don't want his wisdom. I don't, I don't need it. I don't need his wisdom. I don't want it. I'm sorry, Rosho. This song, congratulations, it's better. I can get into it. I like that it's more upbeat. Um, yeah, I, I can get into it. I I like it better. It's still not one of my favorites. Um, I'm gonna put it in the C tier though, which is better than own stage, which would be in the new star tier. He's just ever so slowly uh, making his way up the ladder. Maybe one day you'll make it to A tier, Rosho. So in my notes for this song, when I first listened to it, I wrote down, oh no, it's cool. Why can't Ray just suck? <laughs> I don't like Ray. He's one, he's the only hypnosis character that I'm actually like, yeah, I don't like you, go away. Which I feel a lot of people share that sentiment, which is why I wish his songs would just suck, but they don't. This song is good. I do like faces more though. I also wrote in my notes, I can see this chorus getting stuck in my head and me being annoyed by it. And yeah, that's true. I feel like this song 
belongs in some sort of weird space between the C and the B tier, but I do like it more than these three songs, so I'm gonna put it in the B tier, because it's not possible to put them in between the two. And yeah, there is my ranking of the newest Hypnosis Mike songs. Which of the newest songs is your favorite? It's hard for me to pick a favorite between the ones I put in that top tier. None of them have beat Black Journey though for me. That is still my favorite Hypnosis Mike song. I apologize, Matanro fans, for putting their song in New Star. I just, it way I feel like it's gonna put me to sleep. Please don't kill me. If you enjoyed this video, you should check out my two previous Hypnosis Mike song ranking videos. Like I said, the first one I did was my first video on this channel. So the audio quality isn't great on that one. So sorry about that. But despite that, I still think it's a fun video. I have also done a video where I try to explain Hypnosis Mike to my best friend. That one is very fun. Try explaining the plot and the characters of Hypnosis Mike to your friends. It's not easy. It makes it sound like it's a really stupid series. And yeah, I mentioned Diabolic Lover's character songs in this video. So if any of my DL fans are out there, maybe I should rank those. But yeah, like I said, tell me what your favorite of the new songs are. Uh, what, what's, what's your favorite division? I would love to know. And with that, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. Stay in Fling Posse, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!